We explored the inner space cavern in Georgetown. Uh, literally a cave of wonders discovered <laughs> accidentally during construction on I-35. Go ahead, take a look here. It was an underworld experience we had no idea was coming, but our journey began taking shape long before. So we found the cave in 1963. The Texas Highway Department found it by accident when they were drilling to build I-35. Construction on the interstate continued while a world beneath the wheels was discovered. They wanted to explore a little bit, uh, so they drilled a bit larger of a hole, sent the smallest man down. He was lowered into total darkness with one light. No, the first you. thing he landed in was bat guano. And three years later, they opened to the public. The first uh, reaction that people have when they enter the cave is either, I don't want to be down here. Are you kidding? This is not the place for me. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> okay, we got, we got, we're okay, guys. Or, wow, complete amazement. Wow. Yeah. 100 years. It takes nearly a century to create formations the size of an ice cube. Growth moves so slow it would take thousands of years to notice a difference. 70 feet wasn't good enough for the Texas Today team. You guys ready to descend into the darkness? We went nearly 11 stories underground. All right, Lisa. Don't die. On knees and bellies, the Texas Today ladies trudged forward. I'm completely stuck. Uh, like, yeah. It didn't take long before we hit our first bump in the road. I'm like, I couldn't, like, move my head. I was like, oh, this is what it feels like to be buried. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Despite disappearing into the darkness. <laughs> but now we can't find our guys. <laughs> and losing track of our guys. I'm laughing because I don't want to cry. <laughs> After more than three hours of crawling and climbing, we finally made our way above ground. We began our journey unsure of what laid before us, but we end knowing what lies behind has been conquered. All right, Jane, so now you know what it's like to be a mole. <laughs> That's right. I love how Lisa high-fived me, and then our producer, Taylor, she just kind of left me hanging there. <laughs> We finished. I think you guys High were five. tired, but you look so muddy. So did you just have to throw your clothes away? I threw my shoes out, and then I was able to wash my jeans and uh, T-shirt several times, though, before really? the shirt actually came out. Just put it on KCEN's tab, James. The things we do for your, our right. jobs. <laughs>